Good evening, sir. I am Srijita Manerji, and today I and my group are going to present on the topic e-commerce. So this presentation is done by me, Srijita Shomoshri Shomolina and Rajdeep. Uh, so let's come to the agenda for today. So these are the topics we will be discussing today: the introduction, the relation between the network and e-commerce, internet, intranet, extranet, EDI, wireless application protocol, handle devices, mobile computing, wireless web. web security and lastly the confusion so let's first go to the introduction <coughs> next slide okay so so what is e-commerce so e-commerce is basically electronic commerce and is the buying and selling of goods or services on the internet so it encompasses a wide variety of data systems and tools for online buyers and sellers including mobile shopping and online payment encryption So there are different kind of business uh, transactions that occur that are either B two B, which is the business to business, B two C, which is the business to consumer. Then comes the consumer to consumer, C two C, and consumer to business. The last one, C two B. Now let us come to the next topic of our presentation, and that is the relation between network and e-commerce. So basically, network uh, effects plays an important role in e-commerce. We know that. And in e-commerce, network effects are important in areas like the trade, money transaction, and all the applications where the interaction between the user exists. So, network effect strategy allows companies in e-commerce to set up a network with non-competitive prices. So, this is all about the relation between the network and e-commerce. Next, uh, we have internet. So, please go to the next slide. Yes. So, basically, internet is what to be using in every day. and the network formed by the co cooperative interconnection of millions of computers linked together is called the internet and internet comprises of three things people resources a set up for collaboration and obviously we are the people who are connecting and developing the network for that we need the resources so what are resources a collection of resources that can be reached from those networks so we are basically reaching the resources through that network and obviously we need a set of collaboration for which we have to do some research and educational committees worldwide we have other members which includes those collaboration who are working on it. and after this we have intranet and this will be discussed by shomustri what is intranet intranet is defined as private network of computers within an organizations with its own server and firewall Intranet is system in which multiple PCs are networked to connected to each other. PCs in intranet are not available to the world outside of the intranet. Usually each company or organizations has their own intranet network and employees of that company can access the computers in their intranet. Every computer in intranet is also identified by a IP address which is unique among the computers in the intranet. In the next slide, we have uh, extranet. So, in, uh, so intranet is available only within organizations, while extranet is available for both internal and external members. And extranet is an organization's private network, and it's available only for selected users. It's a way to connect to third parties like vendor, customers, and partners in in a secure and controlled way. the users typically have a login mechanism such as username and password to access the network extranet is simply uh, simply provides a secure network for an organizations to uh, to share informations with relevant uh, people outside the organizations in the next slide we have edi so what is edi edi stands for electronic data interchange electronic data interchange is the elect electronic interchange of business information using a standardized format a process which allows one company to send informations to another company electronically rather than with paper business entities conducting business electronically are called trading partners Many business documents can be exchanged using EDI, like Word documents and spreadsheets. In this picture, we can we can see the working of EDI. Both the enterprise have EDI applications installed in their systems. 
Enterprise One uses its EDI applications to generate an EDI document that it wants to share with the other enterprise. The format of this EDI document must be the standard format and that has been decide, decided by the two enterprise for sharing EDI documents. This document is shared with the other enterprise over the network. The document is received by the enterprise too in the standard format on the ED, EDI applications. This is how the two enterprise exchanges business documents electronically. In the next slide we have wireless applications protocol which will be explained by Shomulina. Uh, so WAP stands for the wireless application protocol. It is basically a gateway between the mobile device and the internet. It was uh, designed for the micro browsers and enable the access of internet in the mobile device. Here, one, here the uh, working principle of uh, WAP is given. As shown in the picture, when the user opens his micro browser in his mobile uh, devices, it selects the website that, the, that he wants to visit. Then the mobile device will send an URL encoded to the uh, wire network to the web gateway and the web will uh, translate that request into conventional HTTP URL format. Then, then it will be sent to the web server and there the process will be done. Again the web server will uh, transmit the signal to the gateway and there the message will be converted into WML file and which will only be seen by the micro browser. This is used to for privacy purpose. There are many states in a web uh, stack. Those are application layer, session layer, transaction layer, security layer and transport layer. Next we have handheld devices. As the name suggests, handheld devices basically are small pocket sized devices which can be used by one hand or two. Uh, it have uh, input output devices uh, which is in the display screen uh, it can be anything like mobile phone or game console uh, it considered as a handle device next we have mobile computing mobile computing is a technology that provides the environment that enable user to transmit data from one device to another without using of any physical link we basically we use mobile system every day it has greatly impacted in the e-commerce systems we can Browse the e-commerce product uh, anywhere, everywhere, and anytime. The e-commerce products also e-commerce companies also host many uh, mobile apps from where we can access those uh, items. Next, we have wireless with which will be discussed by Rasti. Sorry, sir. Uh, so next, we're gonna discuss about the wireless with. Uh, so what 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 is wireless with? Uh, wireless with uh, is the company. Uh, uh, so wireless web um, are the conversation two technologies which is one first one is web so which is radically changed the how we do business or interact with uh, other people another one is wireless technology which, which is used in uh, cell phones or wi-fi um, for commercial enterprise computing so next uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna go to the world next page uh, which is wireless which is web security uh, so web security uh, so we have already discussed what a web is web security refers to the protective measures and protocols that should be taken for protecting an organization or adopt to protect the organization from cyber criminals or cyber threats uh, so web security is critical uh, for business to continue or protect continue to protect the data among and their user identification and um, and avoid the risk of the companies so next uh, in the next page um, we are going to discuss that uh, so what is the e-commerce activity which is an electronic buying or selling of products in, which is uh, which is conducted via internet or over internet um, so e-commerce draws on technologies such as mobile e-commerce mobile commerce or internet commerce or electronic funds transfer or electronic data interchange which is also known as EDI inventory management systems and others uh, so e-commerce is in turn driven by the technological advances of semiconductor industry uh, so it is it is the largest sectors of the in the electronics industry and uh, uh, it has and um, it is the it is the future of, of our world so that was our all of our ppt thank you sir very good very good presentation thank you